Hey, good afternoon. I want to briefly speak on the story of the walls of Jericho when those walls fell. Okay, I'm in Joshua chapter 6. And I'll read a little bit here. It says, um, you know, starting in the first verse of chapter 6 in Joshua, Now Jericho was straightly up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city. This shalt thou do six days, and seven, pri and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns, and the seventh day ye shall come past the city seven times, and the priest shall, shall blow with the trumpets, and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Okay. And, uh... So th that's what they end up doing. And first off, let, let me just talk about how interesting this is. Because, you know, they get close to the city of Jericho and the city's walled up. And, you know, God says to Joshua, I, basically, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you Jericho. Okay. And actually, he, he says, I have given unto thine hand, Jericho. So he says it basically like it's already been done. Okay. And I think that's pretty cool as well. And, and he says, look, I, I've given you Jericho and their king and all the mighty men of valor there. You know, you're, you're going to have the city. Um, and, you know... You and your men of war, you know, instead of instead of God having them fight physically, He has them do something on based on faith. Okay, he tells them that they're all going to round the city one time, once a day for six days. Then on the seventh day. Right, the, you're gonna have the. He, he told Joshua, you're gonna have the seven priests bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horn, and the seventh day ye shall come past the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets, and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. So, on this seventh day, they're going to go around the walls of the city uh, seven times, and some of the priests are going to blow horns. And when they hear those horns... They're basically supposed to shout for victory and, and celebrate, okay? You know, and they're supposed to do this before the walls, you know, before, you know fall before they fight anybody, before they talk, like, and they end up doing this, and it works. And look, was it them that got the walls down? No, it was God. And the lesson that we can learn as Christians is that, you know, God fights our battles. And yeah, we're in the Lord's army, but He fights our battles for us. And just like in this scenario, in, in Joshua chapter 6, he gave the children of Israel victory. Um, 
and announced that he, he gave them victory before the walls even fell, days before the walls even fell. Um, you know, as Christians, we can know that God has already given us victory, um, you know, through Jesus Christ, and that we have victory over hell, um, we have victory over the devil, we have victory over this world, um, and it's all through Jesus Christ, and just like when God told Joshua that Joshua's going to have this victory over Jericho before it even happens, and he speaks as though, you know, you know, seven days before the walls actually came down, God speaks to, to Joshua like, hey, I've already given you Jericho. Right? I have given unto thine hand Jericho. So Jesus Christ has already given us eternal life. Okay. And knowing that we have eternal life, even though, you know, we can't physically see it, and we don't really know, or I guess a better word would be grasp how long eternity is. I mean, we know it's forever, but what what is forever in our you know human kind of finite minds, right? Um, but God has given us eternal life, and you know. So get ready for the hearing of that trumpet sound because you might as well celebrate. <laughs> and there's nothing to worry about because even though the walls of Jericho of your life, you know, your trials and tribulations and maybe people persecuting you or, you know, just... the burdens that come with this world. Someday, very soon, they're going to all come crashing down. And that's worth celebrating. And remember, you know, when those walls in your life come down, and even, you know, when the rapture happens, um, you know, it, it's not going to be because of your works, okay? Okay. It's going to be because of what God did. And uh, and just take it on faith that he has, you know, spiritually given you the city. You know, spiritually, the, the walls of Jericho are, are falling. Okay. So, you know, rejoice in that. <laughs>